Hi, I'm Ernie Zor, and I'm the owner of the voice you're hearing in this frequently asked question video, which is titled, Installing Mac Apps Revisited. This is the 31st in our FAQ series, and, and you might ask, why are we saying revisited? Well, it's because I had a chance to watch FAQ 21 titled, Installing Mac Map." It's easy for me to say, Installing Mac Apps, and I thought there were parts that could have been clearer. Now, part of the problem was that we produced the video just before Apple released Catalina, and therefore we spent half the time, the critical first half, talking about installing 32-bit apps. Now, a year later, we really need to bring that 64-bit app uh, front and center. So, by the way, if you look at the screen, you might notice that I'm using Google's Chrome Remote Desktop to show you the Apple computer screen, and that's because we don't have recording software installed on our iMac. Okay, if you're thinking to yourself, hey, I think I could use something like that to work from home or work remotely from anywhere, take a look at FAQ video number 24, Working From Home. It has a few more details, and if I'm remembering rightly, I think uh, it will apply to uh, the use of Chrome Remote Desktop. Finally, the Mac OS you're looking at is Big Sur, but everything I say in this video applies to Catalina as well. In fact, installing 64-bit applications applies to Sierra and um, Yosemite and all the other uh, Mac uh, OSs, so we shouldn't make any difference what, what OS you have, but we are using Big Sur. Anyway, what hurt me in the first video is that I was using Safari for the first time. Doing something for the first time while you're recording a video is only a good approach if you're hoping to record bloopers. Naturally, I've used Safari before, and I had used Safari before, but not to download and install an app. I usually used Chrome for that. Well, things started happening, and by the time I had floundered through the installation steps, the app was installed, and even I, as I was doing the video, I wasn't sure, how did I do that? Uh, but the show must go on. I plowed through to the end, and now to set the record straight, what I'm going to do is install the Ohio Adoption Forms app using both Safari and Chrome, and what I'll do is I'll explain what's going on in a step-by-step -step fashion. So let's get going on this. I'm going to, what do I need to do here? Okay, we're on full screen. There we go. I want to visit the website. And so what it, we'll use Safari first. And we'll open up a new window, I think. Oh, no, here's Pier of Springs. It's already up there. Okay. I need a password. And I'm going to enter that in right now. That's actually the first step. You put in the password, then you use this button here where it says click here to download update. It says update, but really we're not, you could even be installing it for the first time. That part doesn't matter. And now down at the bottom of the page, you'll see, click here to download the zip file. Now, you may recall the DMG file is what we were using in the early days, in the early Mac days, but now we're using a zip file. So I'm going to click here, and that caused the download. You know, that, that happened pretty fast. It, um, it actually flashed into the upper... Uh, right corner here of the screen. I don't know if you saw it. I don't even think I saw it, uh, but it, but I, I did see a flash of something. So what I'm going to do, and, you, and, I, and I could see down here in the downloads folder area, this baby carriage icon is the indicator for the adoption program, so I know something good happened. I'm going to click on that, and here's the uh, adoption app. I think what I'm going to do in this case is go to the downloads folder, which I can do by going to Finder. You go to Finder down here. And there in Finder, in, in my favorites, I'm in the... Um, I don't like this view so much. I like this one over here, this column view. 
personal preference. But at any rate, I'm going to go to the Downloads folder. And here is, okay, here's the zip file that I downloaded. I had actually done it once before, I think, so that's why that number is behind there. But what, what was kind of nice about what Safari just did is when I downloaded the zip file, it automatically extracted the contents of the zip file. So you see the Adopt4 app is sitting right here in the Downloads folder. And to complete the installation, you won't believe how easy this is, I'm just going to drag it to the Applications folder. And that's it. We're done. If you want to prove to yourself, you can go to the Applications folder. Here's the Adoption Program. This is indicating that I downloaded the, it's a safety precaution or a security, security block here. And it's just saying, hey, you got this from the Internet. Are you sure you want to, you know, open this up? I'll say, yeah, go ahead. Open it up. And if we're lucky, the adoption program will start up. And there it is. Actually, it took a couple seconds there, if you noticed. It does that usually the first time you start an application up. Uh, as it goes through other uh, checking the code signing and things like that. Uh, that's all I want to do. I don't want to show you anything about the adoption program. And that's really, that's how easy it is. So let's try Chrome now. Oh, I know. Let's go to the Applications folder. We're going to get rid of the adoption, move it to Trash. Let's even go to the Downloads folder and get rid of the adoption zip. Move that to trash, and I already dragged the app out, and we trashed that, so we got a what we call here a, a virgin machine. Move that. Anything with adopt, I'm getting rid of here, just so that move to trash. There we go. All right. So now, what we'll do is I am going to put down Safari, and let's start Google Chrome. Let's see, do I have a page for Purity Springs here? No, nope, don't have an open one here. Let's start a new one. And that's the P here for Puritus. And these early steps are the same as what you just saw with Safari. I'm clicking on the password search. I'm putting in the password, which, geez, I don't remember what it was. The password uh, is not case sensitive, so you can put it in in capitals or lowercase, doesn't matter. I'll click on search password. Here's the same old thing. Click on the download, click here to download upgrade, update. Here's the zip file. These are the exact same screens that you saw before, actually. We're just getting to them in a different browser. Now you see it's downloading down here in the lower left corner. That kind of what I like about uh, it's a little more visible that, that all that quick happening stuff that happened in Safari I prefer to know what's going on a little bit more so you can see it downloading it looks like it's finished you can click on this carrot sign here I think that's a carrot 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 character and then select open and what happens next okay this is I like this uh, if we go to the downloads folder well you, you know what Chrome unzipped this file as well, and there's the there's the contents. Uh, sometimes I don't know if this is a change that they just made or what, but um, a lot of times I had to double click on the zip file before it would extract the app file. But it looks to me like it happened here automatically. If it doesn't happen automatically, you need to open the zip file. Or in this case, I think I I was able to double click on it. Not in this case, but in, in, in prior uh, versions, I was able to double-click on the zip file. I didn't even have to do that. Here's the app file sitting right there, automatic. I just drag it into the Applications folder. And again, we can go to the Applications folder. There it is. Double-click on it. And again, okay, because, see, it's recognized again that I, this is a, a fresh program that I just downloaded for the Internet. We got a little security hurdle to, to jump. I'll just click on open, and again, it's got to do some, oh, that was even faster. Okay, well, anyway, hey, that's it. Pretty easy stuff, really. Uh, uh, the music says it's time to wrap it up. I hope I did a better job in explaining Mac program installation than I did in the first video. 
let me know if I didn't. As usual, I want to thank you uh, for watching this video. Your watching the videos is our incentive for making them. And I'm not going to say a thing about the like button. Anyway, I always have fun making these videos. I appreciate the chance to do something different here in the computer lab. And uh, I enjoy it when I uh, know that you're watching. If you have any questions about this video or you have ideas for other videos, you can email me at ernie at puritas-springs.com or you can give me a call at the phone number listed on our website. And until next time, stay healthy and happy, and I wish you all the best. Take care. <laughs>